The House of Representatives just recommended the Attorney General of the United States, Merrick Garland, should be held in contempt of Congress for not turning over audio recordings of President Biden. You remember, those were the ones where they said he was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. The House voted just moments ago, basically along party lines, to recommend the contempt charge. Final vote 216 to 207, all Republicans voting yes, all Democrats voting no. One Republican, Representative Dave Joyce of Ohio, joined the Democrats and voted no. Eight House members did not vote. So now what? Well, this contempt charge will be referred to the U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, which is overseen by the Justice Department. Yes, that same Justice Department that Merrick Garland heads up. Then it'll be up to the Justice Department to decide whether or not to prosecute. Spoiler alert, it is highly unlikely that the Justice Department is going to move forward with the prosecution of Merrick Garland. Why? Well, there's a whole executive privilege issue, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but also because this has happened before. The House voted to hold both Eric Holder, the Attorney General under former President Obama, and Bill Barr, the Attorney General under former President Trump, in contempt of Congress. The Justice Department decided not to move forward with prosecuting either of those men. So why is this happening now? Well, this comes after months of back and forth between House Republicans and the Justice Department. You'll remember President Biden was interviewed by Special Counsel Robert Hur over the classified documents found at his home and in his private office. The Special Counsel released a very long report detailing his reasons for not moving forward with prosecuting Biden over those documents. The report was made public and so was the transcript of that two-day interview that he had with the President. In his report, Special Counsel Robert Hur said President Biden during that interview came across as a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. After releasing her's report, several other documents and the actual transcript of the interview with Biden, the White House decided to exert executive privilege over the audio recording of the interview. Republicans were pissed. They say they want the audio. They say they need it to ensure that the transcript matches what actually happened in the interview. Garland said no. He said his hands were tied because of the executive privilege. So because he refused, Congress voted to recommend contempt charges today. Executive privilege, by the way, gives the president the right to keep information from the courts, the public, and Congress to protect the confidentiality of decision-making, though, of course, it can always be challenged in court. But for years, both Democrat and Republican administrations have abided by sort of this long-held position that officials who are enforcing presidential claims of executive privilege shouldn't be prosecuted for contempt of Congress. The Democrats say the only reason why Republicans want this audio of Biden is to cherry pick parts of it so they can use it in political ads. 